Bayo 3 trailer time. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. More new faces, I see. New enemy types, what the hell? Oh god, that 1080p bitrate, oh god. Those things ain't from Paradiso or Inferno. They're local. Sam, Rodan got a hat. Wow, did they actually brought this dude back? And this dude, okay. Then perhaps a bit of fancy dress is in order. I love these games because the devs just have fun. If someone's wiping those universes The devs are just like having a great time. Is what it felt like Bayonetta 1 and 2. And this game's like kaiju battles and stuff like that, literally. I get like Monster Hunter Rise vibes from it. This is just a DMC1 reference! What? <laughs> That matter is the same way that Dante talked to the big spider at the beginning of DMC1. What the hell? I, believe you two have I can't believe Bayonetta and Dante have never actually met, like, in an official action game. That's still, that, that is the one of the biggest tragedies of this entire industry. They're homunculi. Man-made bioweapons. New girl? Look, we don't have time. If we don't stop them, this world is history, and reality as we know it gets wiped out for good. And what do you expect? Oh, she's. I want you to find a scientist named Sigurd. For, she's, she's like a. Oh, well. sh wow! Different playable character. What the hell? What the hell? Like in the story? She sent me to find you. Do we essentially have like a Nero archetype or female Virgil? I think I'd remember you, Riot Girl. You. Someone seems very interested in our arrival. Is it him? Lesson one. Carelessness will get your tail snipped. The gene? My name is Viola. Viola, that's her new name. She's like a witch in training, that's cool. It's just more more character archetypes is neat. Oh, it's crumbling. Oh. Whose heart did you rip out? Your own? Right at right before Halloween. Right before Halloween. That was a weird ending. Uh, I don't think, I think the trailer was okay. I think the end, I think the, I think some of the trailer was a little weird, right? Just a little weird. I still think the game looks fantastic, right? I think everyone, I think I'm super down. It's the same day as the Resident Evil Village DLC. Bro. Bro. Yeah, what the heck is this like, like safe for work feature? The, the Bayonetta with your parents feature? Was that even in here? Uh, relax, the witch is back and sexier than ever. We've added the revolutionary naive angel mode to Bayonetta 3 so more people can fully enjoy. By turning it on, you can play right in the living room without having to worry about what's on screen, uh, we think. What is this Gormagala looking thing? Oh, okay. Oh. But you can you still have the option. Is this what people are pissed off about? Oh. Yeah, you can still get your your fuzzy bee tits. Right? They're not going anywhere. Yeah, it's a, it's a, well it's a censorship mode but you completely have the option. So you can either get like 
the daytime television version or the late night HBO version. Wait a minute, people are complaining about this? Wait, wait, pe wait, 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 wait. People are people aren't mad about this, right? You literally have the option. You can choose. No, yeah, okay, so nobody actually is upset. Nobody actually is upset. It's one person. Right? It, it is it is literally just some some person on Twitter. Okay, because this seems like I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought that I thought it was gonna be something like, you know what they should have done? They should have charged you money for this. <laughs> right? And guess what? They should have charged you money to put the clothes on. <laughs> That's what they should have done. There should have been this one should have been like 30 bucks, right? Hey, you, you want to play this game in front of your grandma and grandpa with your grandma and grandpa and not have horrible, horrible embarrassment? You have to spend $30. Give it. Give it up. That's messed up. <laughs> I mean, I'm just I'm just trying to pave the way for a bold new future where we have to, like, do the reverse or something like that. No, and then the nudity being DLC, that's too easy. That's too easy. No, 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 they gotta, they gotta, they have to, what they have to do is, is shame you so hard, right? You have to be shamed into non-existence where at some point they're going to make you feel so bad about every character being so naked that you just, you're going to feel such shame for even playing the game alone that you'll have to buy the DLC to put their clothes on. You're like, shit, really? Those B tits need to be covered up. I really got to do something about this and I really got to change my ways that's what they're going for right they're po they're paving the way for a, gr a purity the future of purity that's what they're trying to do i get it i get what platinum games wants they're going to make their characters in their games so sexy that the shame will be so much that's what's going to happen anyway whatever that's like the most non-news i've ever seen uh this looks great right this looks great once again it is the crappiest fucking quality. The, uh, the bitrate is just the worst on 1080p videos, I swear to God. But, you know, as long as it runs well and performs well, it is a Switch. This is the problem, you know, with the Switch hardware, which is essentially from the early 2010s and shit, right? It's technically running on hardware from, like, the early 2010s. So, it be what it do. Uh, I don't, I don't know if they've actually made any official announcement of how it's going to run. Like, of what resolution it's going to run at. It's obviously 60 FPS. But I'm mostly assuming that it's going to be 720p to 900p docked. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah, those old Tegra chips are from a hell of a long time ago, dude. They're from, like, the early 2010s to, like, 2013, 2014, something like that. Shit is uh, relatively ancient by today's standards. Just the fact that Nintendo devs are getting away with this stuff on Switch is pretty fucking mind-blowing. Anyway, I think it looks good. I'm just, I'm just... It makes me want to play other Bayonetta games again. Mostly Bayonetta 2. Bayonetta 1's good, but it's definitely got some... It's definitely got some age to it, I will say. Uh, and I think the art style is one thing that doesn't help. Bayonetta 1, specifically, of the three, uh, has that weird Xbox 360, PS3 era, like, crappy art style to it. I don't know, man. And then, and then you get 2, and it, it definitely is a much better looking game in many ways. It looks good. I think it looks really good. I think all the kaiju stuff is really crazy and nutty. And it's just, I, I'm wondering why it was delayed for so long. I have no idea. I have no idea. These games are always great, chat. They're always super good. Okami is the executive director now. Okay. Of course he's involved. Neat! All I gotta say is neat. We'll be playing that for Halloween, that's for sure.